The Goose Girl, a tale of deception, courage, and true identity. Once upon a time, in the most beautiful castle in the kingdom, lived a queen and her beloved daughter, the princess. Their lives were filled with luxury, laughter, and the gentle protection of a fairy who adored the princess. But as the princess approached the age of marriage, an adventure awaited her that would change everything. A journey begins. The queen, knowing the dangers that lurked beyond the castle walls, gifted her daughter a box of jewels for the journey. Remember, my dear daughter, if anyone discovers you are a princess, it could bring trouble. Therefore, you shall be accompanied by my assistant, not a soldier, she advised, a hint of worry in her voice. As the princess prepared to leave, her fairy bestowed upon her a magical talking horse named Falada. I'm thrilled to accompany you, my princess, exclaimed Falada, his voice echoing with excitement. The fairy also gave her a magical handkerchief, saying, keep this close, my princess. It will help you in times of need. With a heart full of hope and a spirit of adventure, the princess set off, riding Falada, while her assistant followed on a donkey. The assistant's betrayal. Hours later, they traveled along a forest road when the princess felt weary. I'm so thirsty. Could you please fetch me some water? She requested. The assistant, feeling selfish and unkind, replied, Sorry, princess, but I was thirsty too, and I drank it all. Find your own water. Taken aback by the assistant's disrespect, the princess remained silent, sensing something off about her companion. As time passed, she asked again, could you please get me some water from the fountain? The assistant responded coldly, I'm not your maid, get it yourself. Feeling uneasy, the princess dismounted and drank from her palm. Suddenly, the magical handkerchief in her pocket spoke, be careful, my princess, this assistant girl is dangerous. Just then, the handkerchief slipped from her fingers and fell into the water. Seeing this, the assistant seized the opportunity. You have no power left. From now on, I'll give the orders. Take off your princess clothes and give them to me. Terrified, the princess complied. The assistant donned the princess's clothes and mounted Falada, leaving the real princess to ride the donkey, humiliated and heartbroken. A new life as a goose girl. Upon arriving at the prince's palace, the assistant successfully deceived everyone into believing she was the princess. The prince welcomed her warmly, oblivious to the truth. The assistant, however, dismissed the real princess, insisting she should remain as a servant. The prince assigned her to work with Conrad, the goose herder, who would help her find her place. As the real princess mourned her fate, she ventured into the meadow to tend to the geese. One day, while resting, she removed her gold hair clips, which caught Conrad's eye. He approached her, greedy for the shiny treasures. I want those golden hair clips, he demanded. In a moment of frustration, she exclaimed, ah, leave my hair alone. Blow, crazy wind, blow fast and straight. Take Conrad's hat away. To her astonishment, a wild wind suddenly whisked Conrad's hat away, sending him chasing after it. The princess, relieved but confused, quickly hid her golden clips, knowing she had to be cautious. Each day in the meadow brought new challenges and a growing bond with the geese and Conrad, but deep down, she yearned for her true identity. The King's Discovery Days turned into weeks, and the real princess's extraordinary abilities did not go unnoticed. The king, suspicious of the strange goose girl, decided to investigate her further. One day, he secretly followed her to the barn, where he witnessed her talking to Falada. His heart raced as he recognized the voice of the magical horse, and his curiosity deepened. Later, he observed the princess in the meadow, her hair adorned with gold clips. Blow, crazy wind, blow right away. Take Conrad's hat and take it away. She cried again, and once more, a gust of wind carried Conrad's hat away. Astonished by the girl's powers, the king knew he had to learn the truth. That evening, he summoned the princess to his chamber, determined to uncover her secrets. Tell me about your talking horse and those golden hair clips, he demanded, watching her closely. 
Tears welled in her eyes as she recounted the tale of her deception and the assistant's treachery. Do not fear, young girl. You are safe here. I will protect you, he assured her. You are the true princess. A grand revelation. Without revealing the assistant's lies, the king planned a grand feast that evening. As guests gathered, the real princess sat beside the prince, her beauty radiant and captivating. The assistant, seated across from her, failed to recognize the girl she had wronged. As the feast progressed, the king began telling the story of the true princess's misfortune, leaving the assistant in a state of confusion. How should someone who deceives the people be punished? He asked the gathered nobles. The heaviest punishment must be given to the liar, they cried. The assistant, panicking, realized she had underestimated the situation. But it is you who are the liar in the story, the king declared. Take her away. The guards seized the assistant, and her deceit unraveled. The prince turned to the real princess, his heart full of admiration and love. A new beginning. That night, the truth finally emerged, and the prince proposed to the real princess, their bond forged through trials and tribulations. The moment was filled with joy as they rushed to the barn to free Falada, who neighed with delight upon their arrival. My princess, if your queen mother could see this moment, she would weep with joy, Falada exclaimed, relieved to be reunited with his true owner. The princess and prince embarked on a new chapter of their lives, filled with love, laughter, and happiness. With the fairies' blessings always by their side, they faced the future with unwavering courage and joy, forever grateful for the lessons learned and the love they had found. And so, the tale of The Goose Girl reminds us that true identity, love, and the courage to overcome deception can lead to a life of genuine happiness.